In this video, we'll look at applying a grunge effect to a vector image in Inkscape. So I used to have this t-shirt and I lost it on a trip to California, but it had my state of Idaho and it was, had this grunge effect and it was just a really cool, fun shirt. And uh, I was really sad when I lost it, so I thought maybe I can reproduce this shirt because I didn't know where it even came from. And so um, I found this uh, out outline of Idaho and I was able to create this shirt, but I needed to do a grunge effect. And so to do this, you can search for a any kind of a texture. And it doesn't even have to be um, vector because we're not even using the vector part of it. But we'll just copy the grunge effect uh, and then go to paste as just an image. So this will just paste uh, a PNG image of this effect. We can resize it, stretch it over top of our vector. Now the vector has to be all one unified path, um, which it already is, these, these mock-ups that I have on here. So if we just copy a couple different of these grunge effects really quick, and then we'll look at the process of applying this effect to only those parts of the path. We can flip this grunge effect real quick so that it has a little bit different placement. And then we'll left click and drag to select everything, the path underneath and the PNG grunge effect. We'll go to Object, Mask, Set. And that's just gonna apply this mask over top of the uh, vector that we have. So same steps over again, Object, Mask, Set. So again, so select everything. They both have to be selected. And then we go Mask, Set. And you can even do release if you want. Notice there's an option here to release. So if you want to undo it and reposition the way the grunge falls, you can do that uh, that release option and then reposition it. But there you go, very quickly, that's how you create the, sort of this grunge effect uh, on top of any vector object that you have drawn or, or any vector path that you have drawn. It just has to all be one path. So the texture has been converted to path. I didn't show that in the video, but it's all one unified path. And then if you want to do it, in this case, that for the t-shirt, you can just drag it on top to see what it would look like for a mock-up. I actually did print this shirt and a, and a hoodie. I printed a bunch of this just because I like this so much. Um, and it turned out really, really well. So anyway, there's a nice quick way that you can create a grunge effect for a t-shirt or a sticker or any type of uh, artwork that you're doing in Inkscape. Hopefully you found this informative. Go ahead and leave your questions in the comments below if you have any. And I look forward to catching you in the next video.